guys it's official like i'm considering moving back to lagos my friends and family dare not hear me say this in fact my father especially dare not hear me say this because guys you need to see how i'm always saying what are my friends what are you guys still doing in lagos daddy i think we should move to abuja abuja is a very beautiful city it's so calm and i always call out lagos i use names like mad city unorganized place and I can't believe that I'm the one actually thinking about moving back to Lagos after living 25 years in Lagos and then moving to Abuja. I've been in Abuja for about five years now. And I'm actually thinking that, you know what? I think I want to move back to Lagos. But before I get to that story about telling you guys why I love living in Abuja and why I'm also considering living, going back to Lagos, I want to show you guys what Natural Girl Week sent to us. And guys, I'm so excited about this. But before we get started about the hair and the story that I want to tell you guys, I want you to click on the subscribe button if you haven't. Like this video if you haven't. And sorry, I forgot to tell you my name. My name is Latifa. <music> So like I was saying, Natural Girl Wigs sent us this beautiful package and I'm really loving it because of course I have an idea of what they sent to me. I'm not going to come here and all pretend to you guys. Anyway, it's actually a wig cap and the wig cap came with this maintenance guide to help me know how to take care of the wig. So this is the first thing I want to show you and I'm really excited that they're actually sending me like a manual as someone who likes to read the manual for everything that I buy. I'm really loving the fact that there's a guy to taking care of the hair. This is what the hair looks like. And you know me, I am very lazy. So I'm very excited about this hair. This hair is actually, you just cover it on your hair, arrange it a little bit, I am on your way to all your business. I love the wig because it's a cap. I don't have to do anything. I don't have to start doing edge and laying. I don't even know how to do that. So I'm really, really excited about that. So this is what the wig looks like. You just adjust this to um, your head size and then you cover the wig just like this so you cover the wig just like this and then you would adjust it to whatever you like and me i'm a lazy human being when it comes to beauty so having something that i can just throw on my head and i'm all gone i really 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 love it so let me just adjust it and show you guys what it really looks like. So this is what the side of the hair looks like. It has this very nice band. The band comes in several color and this is what the back looks like. So you guys should tell me what you think about this hair on me. Like I really, really like it. It's, in fact, I can actually call it like lazy girl hair because it's just something you just place on your head and you're all done. And one thing also that I really like about the hair again is that Say you want to, you have um, a dress that has a scarf or you want to just throw in colors into your outfit. You're wearing a black dress and you just don't want the cap itself, the band to be um, black. You, you can use any scarf, like any scarf of your choice. You can just get a scarf and then you just take it to the back like this and then, you know, tie this here right in front and voila, you've changed the style of the cap again. So... For me, I really like that. It's very versatile. I can do anything I like with it. See, I'm looking all different again. So this is one thing I really love about the hair. It's stylish, it's beautiful. It kind of also helped me to show off my long, beautiful African neck, you know. The hair is just beautiful and the thing is just pretty. Maybe I'm hyping myself too much. You guys should let me know what you think about this hair in the comment section. You guys should let me know what you think. Do you think it's nice with the scarf or without the scarf just like this hair? So if you like this hair, you can head over to Natural Girls Wig. You find the link to their website in the description box below. And I do have a promo code that can help you get 10% discount when you buy any hair from Natural Girls Wig. And of course, if you're a guy, you're thinking of getting a hair like this for your sister, your mom, or your bae, you can also head over to Natural Girls Wig and then get your own hair they can even have it delivered to the person directly so you don't have to go through the hassle of getting it to them they have a whole lot of hair on their website like that has beautiful beautiful style and personally i'm actually thinking of getting another hair from there a band head so that i will just throw it on like this and i don't have to stress myself so guys let me move on to the next thing that i said i want to talk to you guys about me considering moving down to Lagos. So as someone who has lived in Lagos for 25 years before moving to Abuja five years ago, there are some ups and downs in living in both of the cities. And I'll just tell you guys what 
I personally think about living in Abuja and living in Lagos. Here are some reasons why I am considering moving down to Lagos. Abuja is a very beautiful city. Let me start with that. Abuja, Abuja is a very beautiful city. If you've lived in Lagos all your life and you've never been to Abuja, if you have money, Abuja is a place to have rest of mind. It is very organized. Like they totally planned out that city. Zero hassle, like very, very soft life. If you are hearing soft life gang, Abuja is a place for you to have soft life if you have money in Nigeria. Zero traffic. Guys, you you can't imagine that I'll be in traffic, like traffic, like traffic, traffic. And you hear like, um, you see cab drivers, you see there may be a traffic that they will just have to stay for three minutes so that they can move past the traffic light. These guys would actually be looking for like an alternative way. And I'm like, bless you, I never stay in Lagos before. Ordinary three minutes traffic, you're looking for an alternate way to get out of this place. So one thing I absolutely enjoy about stay in Abuja is the fact that I can tell you that I'll see you in six minutes and I'll be there in five minutes 30 seconds I can actually tell you that oh I'm going to the market I'll be back in two hours or one hour and I'll actually do my business go in and come in at this, the time so you can have like a planned life in the, in Abuja so I remember when I used to work in the hotel I my shift is by seven o'clock guys at 6 20 I'm still bathing that's how that's how abuja is that's how sweet it is living in abuja and me in the area that i stay one thing that has spoiled me so far is the fact that i don't have to pump water you're hearing oh um popping machine is not working gary key as a whole has a water system running 24 hours uninterrupted water moving running in the household and if you even check how much it is to get water per month, it's very, very cheap per house. Like, it's super, super cheap. You don't have to bother about, uh, oh, I'm trying to get, uh, my pumping machine is not working. 24 hours, we have water. So, that one is there. And now, to not think about the part that I don't like about Abuja is because Abuja is not like a business, business place. You can't really buy things. Like, if you're looking for so many things you want to get for yourself, you have to be looking for someone that is in Lagos that would actually get the item for you. So, that's the only thing I don't like Abuja because it's not really like a business oriented place like Lagos, that is the commercial city of Africa. So, that's why I'm thinking that, okay, maybe I should move back to Lagos because I know how many deals I've lost because I live in Abuja. Even as a food blogger, sometimes you hear some brand, they be like, oh, we want to send you so 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 and so so thing, we would love to work with you. And the moment they just hear that you live in Abuja, you'll be hearing things like, I'll get back to you. Oh, I'm sorry, we didn't need the um, content urgently. We can't work with you because of where you stay and all that. So it's actually heartbreaking. And even as a YouTuber collaboration, Abuja people like to form. Yes, many of them like to form. Even if I consider myself not Abuja people, but Abuja people like to form. I've been in Lagos. Yes, I'm shooting this video right from Lagos, actually. I've been in my friend's house, Felicia, for a while now. If you've seen my other vlog, you see that I'm in Felicia's house. So, um, I've been in Lagos now for over two months, and I know how many people have reached out to me to collaborate, YouTubers, they want us to do something together. So, all this opportunity that um, I lose when I'm in Abuja, I don't want to ever lose that again moving forward if I intend to, like, Get, make my brand a big deal out of it i don't want to lose any of those opportunity again so it's making me consider wanting to stay in lagos i intend to create so many content in fact these days my head is bursting of ideas it's like what not to do in lagos what to do in lagos creating content about beach creating content about traveling to ghana Benin republic you know even if we don't have money to jackpot to the main countries that many people want to go to at least let's be able to go and see what africa looks like you know get the passport stamped maybe like few countries and personally i am not among people that really want to jackpot sincerely speaking i wish that nigeria was a better place as someone who has lived in abuja for five years Abuja is a very, very, very beautiful city to stay in. Abuja is a very beautiful city to live in. So I want you guys to let me know what you think about living in Abuja compared to living in Lagos if you have lived in any of these places. Um, Abuja is calm. It is arranged. Water system is great. It's well planned out. Lagos has business in it. If you're thinking, if you're a hustler like me, and you know how to hustle for money. Lagos is really great to stay in. But man, 
staying in Abuja is really, really calm. If you have money, you'd see lovely, lovely places to stay. And contrary to popular belief, where a lot of people think that, oh, living in Abuja is expensive. I don't think that living in Abuja is expensive. I actually think that living in Abuja is actually not expensive. Because transportation is, cost of transportation is high in Lagos compared to Abuja. You'd go in small cabs for 500 naira, 400 naira. You can't even try it in this area. I remember standing at one junction, one um, junction in Lagos here, and boat was writing 1,300 naira. In in Abuja, that same distance is actually 400 naira. And that day, I walked down to that place. It was actually 400 naira. If it's if, if I was in Abuja, it would cost me 400 naira if I was going to go on that particular journey. But then they were writing 1,000. 300 naira in Lagos. So, even if it's accommodation, depending on where you want to live, if you want to live in a place like Badagri or Jaw area, we have places like Lube and Nyanya and you know, Karo. All those places you'll be able to find house within your budget. If you want to stay in maybe Surulere and you know, a little bit of the um, high island, you'll be able to find houses in Buse, Gaiki. You want to stay in Banana Island and the upsides of Lekki. You find houses in Guzampe. You need to see houses in Guzampe. It's not. It's not Aja Lekki's needs. <laughs> Goodness God. Those people, you be like, I beg no vessel within this country together because we want to see money. We all know they see money. There are so many estates, like hills and hills in Abuja, Katampe. Even you need to see, you need to see some estates in some places. You'll be like, hello, where are you guys seeing money? You know, people in Lagos think that Lagos is the only. You need to see houses that this guy that they have in Abuja. So it just depends on where you want. Like, what's your budget? Like I say, wherever your money reach you. Whatever your money can carry, they are things, their houses. So it's the same thing I would say in Abuja. Just depending on your budget, you find houses, 80,000 naira house day, house of 5 million naira per year, day, 10 million naira per, per year, they get them for Abuja. So it just basically depends on where you want to stay in Abuja. You find a rate for that. When we even talk about food stuff as well, food is cheap in Abuja compared to Lagos. You need to see bell peppers that I buy. You need to see when I buy yam. It's cheaper. I don't think there's anything that is expensive in Abuja. And if we're talking about maybe groceries, I have 15 naira difference. You want to buy milo, 15 naira difference, 20 naira difference. You want to buy milk. You want to buy beverages or all these items like chicken, turkey. Maybe 100 naira difference. But when you want to talk about like, like uh, raw food, tomato, pepper and all that, it's actually cheaper in Abuja. So... When people say that oh abuja is actually expensive living in abuja i personally i do not believe that is actually a false statement but when you want to talk about business the business side of living in um lagos i totally agree that living in lagos you'll be able to connect with people be able to collaborate with people i have lost many deals because i lived in abuja i'm actually considering moving back to lagos because of the business side of lagos not of the stressful side of lagos let me know what you think about this my problem in the comment section because guys really i have been thinking about it and i've not been able to come to a conclusion one minute i feel like packing my bag and going back to abuja one minute i feel like staying in lagos so that's is it for now if you haven't liked this video please click on the like button subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you in my next video and don't forget to head over to natural girl wigs to be able to get one of this beautiful hair so bye for now